Hello everybody, Professor Drew here, and as you may have noticed, I've been getting back into my Twitch schedule of streaming at least once a day. I figured it'd be a great time to talk to you guys and just tell you what has been going on in my life and what to expect in future of the channel right now. Now I've discussed this with many of my friends already about what happened before, and if you don't know what happened, I'll explain now. A couple of weeks ago, a fire started in my apartment complex. It wasn't in my apartment and everyone in my house is fine, but the apartment that was on fire happened to be one of my closest friends. Unfortunately, my friend's brother-in-law started the fire to commit suicide, and since then, and the family have been understandably upset on top of all that. They currently have no place to live. They've been living at uh, their relative's apartment, who happens to live in the same complex as us, so I do still see him every now and again. He's been uh, upset, unfortunately, though, and we've been trying to hang out more and more, and trying to, you know, get his mind off of it and whatnot, but I, I know how it feels I've lost a relative before, and uh, unfortunately, that's something only time can fix, unfortunately. <laughs> So just when I thought my apartment complex catching on fire was the worst thing to happen, something worse gets in the way. About a week ago, my aunt fell down the stairs of her house and apparently ruptured her spleen. She's been put under intensive care and it's honestly looking very bad for her right now. The scariest part of this is when she fell, she, she lives alone so nobody knew she had fallen at least until uh... I think the mailman arrived and called her an ambulance. She may make it through though, there is hope, but unfortunately if she does, she may have to stay under care, like in a retirement home or something, because she was hurt very badly. Um, I, and I was very attached to my aunt. She was even the one who got me into uh, the vocational high school that I went to, and it just seeing her in this state right now it just feels awful i can only hope for the best for my aunt i'm praying for her my family's praying for her we just kind of have to hope that she can get through this so now with the real stuff out of the way i can move on to talking about the channel and what i plan on doing first thing on chopping block would be nostalgia nights those are coming back soon once i find some games to play for them obviously I don't know what to do for the next nostalgia night, but if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I, I guess that's about it for nostalgia nights, other than I just want to let you guys know that th they're going to be back, uh, along with other playthroughs, other games. N I don't want to be just streaming Overwatch and, you know, Seven Days to Die, Ark, all, all those things. I want to uh, play more different games. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for Nostalgia Nights. So if you're watching this on YouTube, then you can probably guess I'm going to be actually using the channel now. And you'd be correct. If I get the chance and YouTube allows me, considering I had problems in the past uploading videos past 10 minutes, I will be uploading the streams onto YouTube as well as Twitch. And they will be completely uncut unedited it's the full stream you get the whole package and trust me when i say i literally could care less about youtube coming to me and saying oh, this video is not advertiser friendly oh, you, you, you can't have ads on this video it's like have you seen the vids i upload uh, actually no don't, don't look at those videos please if for some reason i won't be able to upload my streams onto youtube then of course they'll be up on twitch so you can always view them there and of course i will provide a link to my twitch in the description so you can check out the channel like i said i do my best to stream just about every day and i'm doing my best to hold my word on to that i was planning to get rid of my patreon and just do donations through paypal considering that was the way many twitch streamers got their donations uh, but I decided against it at the last second, considering how I had to sign up for it. Now, call me paranoid, but I honestly felt very uneasy when I saw that you kind of had to give PayPal your social security number. Uh, I, I, I know why, obviously, but at the same time, something in my gut just told me not to. Obviously, not saying don't use PayPal, you know, I'm not your father or anything. It was just my personal preference that I was like, no, I, I don't feel comfortable giving it to him. 
I will have my Patreon up and running again shortly enough if you are all interested in donating to help the channel and keep it going. Any amount helps and it's pretty appreciated. I don't know if I plan on doing like those reward things or whatever. I, I may make some in the future. I don't know. But as of right now, it'll just be basic place to send donations if you have any. And of course, thanks again to anyone who has donated in the past. I know there's a couple of you. So I think that wraps up everything in this update, basically. If you have any questions for me, you know, uh, let me know, comments, uh, or if you're watching this on Twitch, I guess, you know, message me or whatever. Hope you guys have a great day, uh, stay beautiful, you know, hey, you know, all that shit. Well, I obviously don't know how to make an outro because I have not done a vlog like this before, uh, so, uh, whatever, just have a nice day, you know, peace, whatever. Uh, yeah. Also, thanks for watching. I was planning to get rid of my Patreon and just do donate. Yeah. So I will have my Patreon up and run again shortly enough. If you were interested. Oh my god. Can you be quiet?